Plankton Lab. My name is Jeff. I'm going to help you become a plankton engineer today. But before we get started, who can remember from Britt's lesson how we define plankton? If you said that plankton are drifters, great job remembering that. They are basically tiny organisms that are flowing with the current wherever it goes. Take a minute and become a scientist. Make some observations about the planktonless board and tell me about their shape. What did you notice about their design? Many of the plankton are flat and spread out and have lots of appendages, like this barnacle larvae. By having lots of surface area, plankton sink more slowly in the water column. To get an illustration of what I mean by surface area and sinking slowly, think back to a time when you dove into the pool or the ocean. If you do a pencil dive, woo, you slice right into the water. If you do a giant belly flop, you just splat and you sink very slowly. So plankton are a lot like belly floppers. They've increased their surface area wide out so they sink more slowly in the water column. Why do they need to sink slowly? Good question. They need to so they can get their energy from the sun. As you remember from the other day, there are two kinds of plankton. There are phytoplankton, which are plant-like, and there are animal plankton. The plant-like plankton need to be near the surface of the ocean to be able to get the sun's energy to make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. And of course, the zooplankton need a phytoplankton because that's what they eat. It's all we call the food chain. Now comes the fun part. We get to create or engineer our own plankton. We're going to try to design our plankton with things we can find around our household and race them in a bucket of water to see which plankton sinks the most slowly. Check out this list of items that I found around my home. The plankton race has some simple rules. Your created plankton can be no bigger than the palm of your hand. Your plankton design must use at least two items. If your plankton flows for more than five seconds, it is disqualified. And the plankton that sinks the slowest wins. Okay team, I'm here with Heather and Britt for our great plankton race. We're excited. We have found a pitcher of water to simulate the ocean. We have all of our supplies and we get ready to each build our plankton. Remember those key rules. It can't be bigger than the size of your palm. It has to not float and the one that sinks the slowest is the winner. You might Okay, we all have our plankton. Ready. Here's mine. Whoop. This is Brits and Heather's. Okay, now for our plankton race, we're each going to set our plankton into our little mini ocean here, and whichever plankton sinks the slowest without floating is the winner. One. I can't. Oh, mine's stuck. Two. <laughs> One, two, three, release. Oh, stone. Brett winner! And the winner is Brad! Yeah! Oh. Hey! <laughs> okay, Britt, tell us about your design and why you felt like it may have floated successfully the longest. So, my plankton has a lot of surface area, right? It's really flat, but I left a little nubbin on the bottom to kind of center it so it wouldn't flip on its side. And I've got lots of it, appendages coming off of it here to give it even more surface area and help it sink even more slowly. Tell us about how you engineered your plankton and why it was more successful than mine. So my plankton still had some appendages to increase surface area. Um, inside, it actually has a little flotation device, Whoa, maybe like a pocket of oil or a pocket of air, uh, <laughs> but I think it was still too, too dense and too compacted. I lost badly in the plankton race because I think I had too much weight with these clips on here. 
So if I was going to redesign or re-engineer, I might remove these clips and see if my plankton were to sink slower, more like Brits or Heathers. No. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for joining us today for Plankton Races. I hope you had some fun and maybe even learned something. Take some time today and try and re-engineer your plankton. Try and recreate it, make it sink even more slowly through the water column. And if you get a chance, comment down below and let us know how you improved your plankton. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.